Right, for those of you who are into air rifle shooting like I am, um, I've got a new tool to show you today. Um, the other day, somehow, I got a pellet stuck in my 2.2 um, BSA Ultra rifle, and I've um, made a tool to extract the pellet without damaging the barrel. And you can actually seriously damage um, an expensive rifle like this, or any other rifle or pistol, if you go about trying to remove a pellet that's stuck in the barrel the wrong way. There are people that try to hammer it backwards, um, even hammer it forwards. Um, the actual thing that you're actually trying to bash it through with will actually score the um, rifling and ruin it that way. Some people heat the barrels up, which is a totally ridiculous thing to do. And that will actually either distort the metal or ruin the um, bluing. And I did see another um, good tool like this, made by someone else, which gave me the idea of this tool. Um, and like I said, it's really well made, but in the wrong hands, and if used uh, wrongly, um, there's still a chance that you can actually um, go off centre and still ruin the actual rifling by scoring it. So I've made my own version of that tool and done some improvements to it to take out the error or the chance of error where you could actually score the barrel. And these are dead easy and quick to make. And I made this all on my Chinese mini lathe. So I've got a piece of um, ground silver steel which is 5 32nd inch in diameter. That's about 157 thou. I drilled this end with a drill that measures um, 90 thou in diameter, about half an inch deep. On the drill, on the corner of the uh, grinding wheel, I ground a couple of grooves on the shank um, that will actually go into that um, hole or that bore. I then put some Loctite 638 on that and inserted that into the bore and put a flame underneath and that's something I do just to light a lighter flame just to warm it up and that sets rock solid within a few seconds and Loctite 638 is um, classified as a high strength adhesive uh, which it certainly is you won't be able to pull that drill out at all unless you actually heated this up at very hot until you actually see um, fumes coming off and then that one would pull out. So it's an excellent adhesive to use for this type of work. Um, in this end here, opposite to the drill, I drilled with the same 90 thou drill about 7 millimeter deep. Um, I got a woodwork self-tapping screw which is about 10 millimeter long I put this in the jaws of the lathe and turned this end down about five to seven millimeter long to the same diameter as the drill hole in the end and I inserted that with Loctite 638 again and applied the heat to set it quick so if you do use that method with a lighter to warm it up, that's all you're doing is just warming it up to actually make it set. You don't get it very hot. So next I made this guide here. I've got a piece of, um, I think it's about 8mm diameter bar, brass bar. And I drilled it out so that the 532nd silver steel is a nice fit on that not too tight not too loose i nailed this end here turned it round and turned this end down here uh, for 0.22 which is my um gun slightly under on diameter i take the silencer off the rifle and that one slides into the barrel Again, a nice fit, but not too tight. So it can't actually wobble around too much. I made this brass thumb wheel here out of a bit of half inch diameter brass and nailed that with a straight nail 
put a few decorative um, grooves in it to make it look nice and chamfered it up um, drilled that one out so it fits the 532nd silver steel again and I've uh, drilled it right through with the tool post drill on my lathe and tapped it for 2BA brass um, screws so one screws in either side that acts as a bit of a handle so you can actually tighten it onto the silver steel but in doing so it will not actually damage the silver steel or mark it And at first I was going to use a small tap wrench like this but I thought in screwing up tight on the actual silver steel it will actually dent that so that's why I've chosen brass and having it this diameter um, makes it so that you have nice feel over the work again and you can actually feel it drilling into the pellet um, without putting too much force on it. So to use the tool First you set the depth of the um, spindle or the silver steel part, tighten that one up on that shaft that one slides down the guide and there's absolutely no way um, if your silver steel is dead straight that that can actually veer off or go off center and the drill scratch the actual rifling. You use the brass thumb wheel here to advance the tool down the bore of the um, barrel touch on the end of the pellet and you have great feel with this thumb wheel turning it clockwise obviously and winding the drill through the um, stuck pellet you can feel it go loose when it goes through and then you can actually withdraw the tool and it's best not to use any oil or anything lubrication in the barrel when you're doing this because the actual lead filings will actually drop and stick in the um, rifling of the barrel or whatever so like I say it's best to leave it dry and at this stage take this out turn the rifle up on its end and try and just gently shake those um, lead filings out next I loosen the brass thumb wheel and turn it round and slide it up the other end tighten up again and then I reinsert the self tapping um, screw end down through the guide and up to the face of the pellet and then it's simply screw that one into the pellet you can feel it go tight when it's um, going into the lead and then simply withdraw the tool and it pulls the um, pellet out So if you make this tool and use it in the way that I've shown, you'll absolutely safeguard yourself from damaging an expensive barrel or any other component on your gun. And after using the tool and before putting the silencer back on if you have one, I recommend using a good quality well made brass um, pull through to clean the barrel or some other um, very good quality cleaning tool. And in a future video, I hope to show how to make one of those uh, pull throughs. They're very easy to make, and again, they won't actually damage your barrel. Plus, if you have the BSA Ultra, I hope to show this tool here how to make it and use it. 
and this tool is for taking the um, collar out of the um, end here so those two pins there locate on the or in the holes on that collar slides down in there like that and then you can actually undo the block um, to get at the parts inside for cleaning, servicing or replacing. And my um, brother made this one. You can see it's stamped up there, BSA, made of brass again so it won't damage any of the surfaces of the gun. So I'll copy this one and show you how to make it. 